Your gums versus your brain? Wait, what? Sounds wild, but this is real science. A new study found that people who had a lot of the body's fighters, called antibodies, against mouth germs, also had worse memory problems from Alzheimer's. Here's the simple idea. When gums get sore and bleed, tiny germs can slip into your blood, ride the highway to your brain, and stir up trouble. Your brain doesn't like that. It gets inflamed, which means it gets puffy and irritated inside, and that can make thinking, learning, and remembering harder. This study doesn't prove that bad gums cause Alzheimer's, but it shows a strong link. Think of it like smoke and fire. If you keep seeing smoke, you pay attention, right? So, what can you do, starting tonight? First, brush your teeth two times a day, for two full minutes each time. Set a timer. Hum your favorite song. Make it fun, but do not rush. Use a fluoride toothpaste. That's the time that helps keep teeth strong. Second, clean between your teeth once a day. Floss works great. If floss is tricky, try little brushes for the spaces or a water flosser. The important part is get the sticky gunk out from between teeth where germs love to hide. Third, see a dentist regularly. Cleaning sweep away the buildup that your toothbrush misses, and the dentist can spot early gum problems before they turn into big ones. Bleeding gums are not normal. If your gums bleed when you brush your floss, that's a warning sign. It's your mouth saying, hey, I'm not okay. There are more brain smart choices too. Keep sugar treats as sometimes foods, not all the time snacks. Don't start smoking. And if someone in your home smokes, ask them to take it outside. If you or a family member has a health problem like diabetes, follow the doctor's plan because high blood sugar can make gum trouble worse. And if you help care for a grandparent, remind them about brushing and flossing or help them if they need it. Caring for teeth is not just about shiny smiles. It's about whole body health, including the brain. Let's keep this real. Brushing and flossing won't cure Alzheimer's. Scientists are still working hard to understand it. But mouth care is something you can control every single day. It's like putting on a helmet before riding a bike. A helmet doesn't make you a perfect rider, but it protects your brain. Good mouth care may help protect your brain too. Here's your quick plan. Tonight, check your toothbrush. If the bristles are bent and fuzzy, it's time for a new one. Brush for two minutes. Floss before bed. Put a sticky note on the mirror that says, gums equals brain. Ask your family to join you so you can cheer each other on. Tiny habits add up. Your future self, the one taking tests, remembering names, and crushing goals, will be glad you started now. This video is for learning, not medical advice. If you or someone you love is having memory changes, talk to a healthcare professional. Credit, Journal of Alzheimer's Disease and the National Institute on Aging.